you heard that a plant-based diet actually kills more animals than a meat-based diet? Yeah, not quite. For years, the crop death argument has popped up on podcasts, in the news, and on social media. The idea is that in the harvesting of plant crops, birds and rodents are killed, making so-called cruelty-free vegan foods not so cruelty-free. But is this the big gotcha argument many meat-eaters think it is? Let's look at the facts. The crop death argument is often used to defend the consumption of factory farmed meat over plant-based alternatives, especially those made of soy. But the irony is that the vast majority of soy goes to feeding farmed animals, not humans, and certainly not vegans. So eating meat not only causes the direct death of those animals, but also the indirect death of the countless others killed in the harvesting of their feed. The crop death argument likely became popular after well-known musician and hunting advocate Ted Nugent appeared on Joe Rogan's podcast in 2018. If you really want to kill the most things, be a vegan. I kill one animal per arrow. In order to grow tofu, you have to kill every ground squirrel, every vole, every shrew, snake, turtle, frog, bird, rabbit, anything that gets in that bean field. Then if anything does survive my first slaughter, I'm going to come in with Monsanto and poison the shit out of everything so you can have a tofu salad and not be responsible for any death. Fuck you. That's a really good point, and it's Hello? a point that a lot of people ignore. A year later, Chris Kresser, known online for promoting the paleo diet, echoed similar sentiments. This 2018 paper that I mentioned earlier that examined the impact of plant agriculture on animal deaths and found 35 to 250 mouse deaths per acre and up to 7.3 billion animals killed every year from plant agriculture. If you count birds killed by pesticides, fish deaths from fertilizer runoff, plus reptiles and amphibians poisonings from eating toxic insects. There's far more life taken by plant agriculture than there is life taken by animal agriculture. But according to Our World in Data, wild mammals, those Nugent suggests we hunt for food, make up only 4% of the world's biomass, while farmed animals make up 62%. In other words, if everyone swapped their beef for venison at current rates of consumption, wild animals would be totally wiped out. Fast. But how many animals really are killed in harvesting crops? In that study Kresser cited, the authors actually concluded that there are several reasons to question the accuracy of these calculations. That 7.3 billion is clearly too high, and there are many reasons to be skeptical about generalizing from the available data, which is obviously quite limited. Despite uncertainties, it's evident that plant-based diets generally cause less harm to animals and certainly less harm to the environment. And while no diet is perfect, it's clear that some are certainly less detrimental than others.